And thankfully, no major forest fires burned this weekend on Vancouver Island because if one had, island forest firefighters may have been dangerously handicapped. Sunday morning, the crew at Port Alberni's firebase were shocked to discover that its only operational Martin Mars water bomber had been vandalized. The damage was so severe, the flying tanker had to be grounded for emergency repairs. CTV Scott Cunningham has more. It is a giant of the sky. A mechanical albatross which this weekend had one of its rear wings clipped. Very serious incident here this weekend with uh, the aircraft going unserviceable and probably our hottest day of the year. Sunday flight crew took to the air in the world's only working Martin Mars water bomber without realizing their lives and the safety of BC forests hung in the balance. Tampering with an aircraft is a federal offense and uh, you know we put life and limb uh, at risk uh, uh, without knowing that there's damage done to this aircraft. Back on the water crews realized something was wrong. A hole had been punched in a small rear wing of the plane. Staff expect someone had climbed aboard Saturday night looking to dive off and while balancing high above the water, put a foot through a delicate surface of the plane. They were on red alert yesterday to fight fires and so for them to be out of service due to damage is very um, disheartening. Early estimates peg damage at around $25,000 but crew with the fire base say putting a dollar figure on anything to do with the Martin Mars aircraft is almost impossible. Designed in the late 1940s, the Martin Mars has passed the test of time. Still known as the largest flying boat and most effective tool for dousing flames in the backcountry. Only two remain in the world and both are found just outside of Port Alberni. They're a pretty key tool in the toolbox. While a charge of mischief may lack teeth in court, Port Alberni's Court of Public Opinion has already ruled on a case of vandalism to a plane they take public ownership of. It's a flying antique. It's one of a kind. Really poor taste, I would think, that someone would, uh, would uh, do something like that. Both RCMP and Firebase crew are asking the public to come forward if they have any information that could help land a suspect. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Port Alberni.